So something is happening here. And I want to show it to you guys. It's pretty impressive. So, uh, you know my little blue box. I'm sitting down in my thinking chair. And I'm going to flip this around. Um, don't know exactly what's happening here. I don't know if I've caught a swarm because I haven't opened it up. But if I am catching a swarm, I don't want to open it up. But you guys recognize this, right? This was the uh, insurance hive. It looks pretty busy today. I mean, uh, I don't know what y'all think. But the insurance colony... Hey, Randy. The insurance hive is looking pretty busy over here today. So there's a good chance... If we haven't caught a swarm, we may be catching one soon. Because they look really kind of active. What y'all think about that one? The insurance colony. What's it look like to you guys? Might just be a bunch of scouts. But it, I never saw anything swarming like crazy landing there or anything. Because I just walked out, and this is what I saw. So, trying to get you guys as humble opinions on what y'all think might be happening here. I don't know where they're... Just remember the other day when I, when I lured this colony. Yep, I, I've got it boxed up already. i got getting ready to take it to the post office in a minute. But, uh, yeah, guys, it's the insurance colony is pretty busy. I don't know that there's any, any bees in it. I mean, as far as a swarm. Let's call it a swarm for fun. This would be the Valentine's Hive because it came in on Valentine's Day, if that's what happened. I don't really want to mess with them too much. And, uh, um, and it's a, um, it's just exciting, guys. It's exciting to see. I think it's just comb. Could be. They could just be, that seems like a lot of bees for scouts, though. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I open it up? Should I leave it closed? Maybe I just leave it closed, right? Pop it. Pop the lid. Let me do it from the back, guys. It may not be nothing. I just saw this. Oh, of course. Yeah, just some bees. Back here by the bullet I've got back here. Let me see the bullet in there. Right, the, right there, there it is. So maybe they're just checking it out. But but they're not a. Uh, there's no food in there or anything like that. So just a bunch of bees checking it out today. It won't be long, guys. I think there's a. It might be one of my own. Don't know. Might be just coming in. But look, they're cleaning it out. That's one thing, like, I find they're cleaning it out. Has anyone ever noticed that? That if scout bees come in, they've found a place that they're going to clean it out pre prior to the swarm coming in. Look, drug out a dead hive beetle. There's a dead bee on the board there. Um, so... Don't know. It is interesting. So hopefully they... Uh, I mean, they're definitely uh, interested in that box. Nothing's changed about that box, guys, since 
since uh, the last video I did on the insurance hive. I just saw a bunch of activity on it and thought, hey, maybe they're uh, they're checking it out. How nice would it be if a massive feral swarm moved in right there? Oh, hold on. Think they're tearing the wax down? Well, I don't know why they would tear it down there because I got wax sitting everywhere they could be tearing down. I mean, there's some bees on that stack over there. And then I've got comb over there they could be tearing down. They're not on it. That bucket, that white bucket right there actually has feed in it that they could get to. Um, there's drawn comb in those stacks over there. I just think it's in there. And they're kind of fighting on the on the landing board, which is interesting. I've not sat here and watched a swarm box like this before, like constantly. So I, to be honest with you, I don't know. Last year, I, I, it seems like if, if y'all remember, right back there, I had a stack of boxes, and I had a nuke on it that caught a swarm. Um, and I swear to you, it seemed like they had bees coming in and cleaning the box up prior to the swarm moving in. And I missed a comment. Hold on. So, that is interesting. They are really active over here. Yeah, the lure is working. So, they are checking it out. It just, I don't know where they're trying to swarm from or any of that stuff. But, compared to the other boxes, like, that one you can see as normal, right? Normal... That one back there is normal. All of them are pretty normal, just coming in and out like they normally do. Well, I know for a fact, well, I say for a fact, uh, in the honeybee democracy, they say that the scout bees start looking at a bunch of different spots, right? And then as they, as they come back, they will send more and more scouts to the location as they come to consensus on a location. This bench was always blue. Uh, I've got a video from, I don't know, two or three years ago. There's nothing in there to rob, though. Maybe it is. When I bought the brought this thing home in my Fiat that that stand, I sprayed it blue that day. Could be robber bees, but I don't know what they're robbing out. It was it was a dead out. They've had ample opportunity to rob whatever they want to. I just thought you guys would find it uh, interesting. Yeah, it's been it's been baited with my swarm lure. And I just figured that I would spray the lure in there in case I had a, a swarm I couldn't get to or something like that, that there would be a uh, a box for him to uh, to go to, right? Like an insurance box if they decided to move in. So I never moved it and just gave them a opportunity. It could be robber bees. I don't know, like I said, what they would be robbing out. Um, I wonder if anybody knows, do swarms clean up their spot before they move in? Oh, nice, Grayson. I'm glad you got to go out in the bee yard. 
I, I did a boneheaded thing the other day. Won't be the first time, won't be the last time, but I made a, a mistake, a mistake in a in a colony, but it's all good. So I haven't diminished my uh, my colony numbers at the moment. I might have actually accidentally increased them. Well, I did the same thing last year, and I tried not to do it. But this colony right here, okay, well, first of all, that colony was a dead out, right? So I, I took some frames of brood. I made sure, quote, air quotes around the making sure part, that I didn't have a queen on my frames I was moving. Well, that box has a queen in it. This box had queen cells in it, which is the one that I was robbing some frames out of. So this box now has queen cells. Um, so what I did is today I, I shook all the bees down to that bottom box right there. Then I put a queen excluder on there and that way this top box has the cells and bees in it. So they're going to come back up. And what I'm going to try to notice, I'm going to give them a day or so. What I'm, um, what I'm going to give them a day or so there with the queen excluder on so the bees can come up to this box. Which there are probably already bees up there, guys, to be honest with you. But what I'm trying to do is see... If this bottom box has any eggs or larvae in it, then I know the queen is still there. Right? That that there is a queen in that box. If there's not, I know this box has queen cells. So if when I tear it apart, I don't see anything in the bottom, I'll just remove the queen excluder and let them go about their business and let them supersede, which was bad because that, well... Is it bad, really? Because this colony is a good colony. So if uh, if they make new queens, that's a blessing. I still have the main queen in this box. So um, so I don't think that's bad. Ow. I just got stung. Right behind the ear. It's still trying to get me. Ow. Woo. Hold on. I'm coming around in my thinking chair. So yeah, they're, see, and they're landing on the vents, which makes me think they're smelling the lure and trying to get in, right? Looks like they're cleaning up. Yeah, I got it. I've got it on my finger today and then I got it, just got it behind my ear on the back of my head so so that's that's what we got going on there so I don't know scout bees I'm assuming it's scout bees but I don't know I need to see if there's anything about if anybody's got any knowledge about bees that are trying to swarm into a location if they'll actually come in and clean that location up um Clean it up before they go in. I'm going to zoom you in. They are kind of acting like robbers from that aspect. Uh, being fast and furious. But there's nothing to rob in there. Just comb. If you're saying they're tearing down the wax, I mean, that's a possibility. All right, so. Just had a little girl land on my finger. She's probably going to walk across the camera now. She walked on my phone.
but I'll be curious to see. There's a ton of bees around this box. Back, front, on the vent. At any rate, guys, that's what I wanted to show you today. Is my insurance colony seems to be getting some action. So that's pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty fun stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, don't know. I can't say for sure what's happening. Um, Unless I just tear it apart, but then I risk uh, them saying, nah, this isn't a good spot. So we're going to let them do their thing. And then we'll just keep an update on it and see uh, see what's going on. And maybe... Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just leave it alone. Um, oh, here's an update for you from around here. Let me, uh, hold on, get you back to normal here. So, going to have to get it replaced. You see the ice on the bottom? It froze up. It froze on the inside. I'm done dumping money at this thing. I think it's just time to replace it now. Otherwise, I'm gonna spend spend more money fixing the same thing, dumping dumping it into a problem, right? So, done with that. That is a a done deal. Let me flip you back around. So we're not gonna do that anymore. Not gonna put any more good money after something. No more good money after bad. Just gonna replace it. Get a new warranty. Yeah, heat pump. It's been having problems. So last year, well, a few years ago, it went out and I spent $1,500. They put a new compressor and everything in it. And then uh, last year, they came out and I spent another 300 bucks to limp it along. Then the heater came, went out. And the guy came out and fixed it. And finally, I was like, you know what? Take it the way. So we got um, blessed in the in the aspect of uh, swarm lure sales. Right in time to spend that money on a uh, new uh, heat pump. So, yeah, five grand. Well, I don't know if it's a swarm. But if not, they are definitely active on it, Sean. Um and we're going to see what happens with it. I really need to... Um, let me check this feed bucket out here. I haven't checked it today because it rained two days ago. So, And I haven't put any out. I've got one bucket left. And, uh, and then it'll be time. There's, there's a bunch of drowners in here. Maybe I dump this out and make some fresh. I think that's the way to go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here, pour this out, put some new feed out for them, and uh, see how that goes. There should be a little bit of nectar out there for them, just a very little bit. But um, anyway, guys, have a good one. Remember, we're live tonight on Lee's and uh and we'll see you guys there have a good one bye